All right, guys. So I just finished my morning cardio, and we have a long, long day ahead of us. Um, but smash that subscribe button because today we are doing what I eat for my typical breakfast right now. So I'm going to show you guys what I eat for breakfast almost every day to stay lean and stay shredded. Let's go. So we're not afraid of fat, but obviously fat can add up really quickly and I'd rather not eat all my fat in the morning. So today's breakfast is about high protein, a little bit of carbs and a little bit of fat. So of course I'm going to build my omelet on the base of egg whites. Now with that said, one of the best things about egg whites, um, no shout out to this brand specifically, but one of the best things about cartons of egg whites is I can take my food scale, everybody should have one on their counter, um, who's tracking their macros anyway, and I'm going to take my food scale and zero it out. Hit unit so that it's tracking in grams. I'm going to zero it out with the carton on there so that it says it weighs nothing. Then I'm going to pour my desired amount of egg whites out. Let's see, you guys are going to be patient with me here because I want to make sure we get enough. We're going to go with 100 and 60 grams is what I'm looking at here. Um, and we're going to stick with 160, let's get a round number actually, I like that, 160 grams. I'm going to do one whole egg into my omelet. Let's get this damn egg to go for us, there we go. So we got one whole egg, 160 grams of egg whites, and then we're going to cook that up while we make the toast on the side. And yes, today we get avocado toast. It's going to be lean, but it's going to be really tasty. So I'm going to get this on the stove there. Make sure we use that whole egg, whisk it up so that with just a fork gently, try not to scrape the bottom of your pan. But what will happen is, is using that egg yellow will really help us keep the egg whites from sticking to the bottom of the pan, which I know we all fucking hate. So. Essentially, you can add whatever vegetables you want. I'm just going to throw some spinach in there since it wilts so easily. Uh, we'll get that omelet cooking and then we'll show you how to do the toast, okay? Okay, we have the omelet done. Egg white omelet with one whole egg in there. Next, it's time to move on to the part you guys are going to be the most excited about, which is avocado toast. It's going to be a little salty. I'm going to add some garlic salt to it. But the most important part is, is I'm only using a half an avocado, which most people will say, and this is a small avocado, most people will say, oh, well, that's not enough avocado to spread over my toast. I want a little bit more there. This is where it gets awesome. I'm going to take, this is cottage cheese. I don't care if you like it, hate it, doesn't matter. You're going to like this. We're going to do one serving of cottage cheese, which if I'm not mistaken is 110 grams. And we are going to smash the avocado into our 110 grams of cottage cheese. That's exactly 110 grams. I'm on the, on the button there. Um, and I did the same exact thing. I zeroed out the cottage cheese container, saved dishes. We're not worried about it um, because we just got to weigh it on the actual scale in the negative format. So we got 110 grams of cottage cheese. We have our half of small avocado. You probably, if you really wanted to, you could probably get away with even less than that or saving some of it for a snack later and logging the whole thing anyways, if that makes sense. You would just log it as if you ate the whole thing and save some more for later. But I like doing this because we're getting the taste of the avocado, a little bit of that healthy fat, but using either non-fat or low-fat cottage cheese and smashing it into the avocado is going to bump our protein through the roof and it's going to spread that avocado a lot further on whatever you want to add it to. So you're basically going to use a fork and just chop and mix this shit to oblivion. Um, until that cottage cheese starts to turn green and you start to see some of those little chunks really just turn into a blended pulp. You could actually use a whisk, which I've used before, but a fork, you know, I'm lazy, so I'm just going to use a fork today because cleaning a whisk is not super fun. Um, I added garlic salt. You can add uh, cilantro, but I don't think you have to. It's kind of up to you. Uh, but it would be good. I mean, it's up to you. you don't, it doesn't add to your macros. So if you like cilantro on it too, you can add that. So I'm going to keep smashing this. So you guys don't have to watch me smash it. I'm going to spread it over the top of toasted. I like lightly toasted. Toast it any way you fucking want. But this is lightly toasted sourdough bread. Why sourdough? 
It's very low in gluten, if any at all, and it sits really good on my stomach. So that's my fast carbs after my cardio today. We're gonna spread this on top and we'll show you the finished product, all right? So I just used a, you know, mix it up and just gave it a little taste before I promise you guys it's good. It is so fucking good. I think it actually might be better than just plain avocado. There's so much on there. Um, that's a pretty substantial breakfast, but it's very lean. I'll add the macros right here. That's the macros for this breakfast. I am doing pepper on the top, just a little cracked pepper right over the top of these. And to finish it off, of course, you guys know I'm white, but I'm not that kind of white. We gotta make sure we have hot sauce. So the hot sauce is for, you know, really capping this thing off. This has zero calories. The rest of the macros you've already seen, that's it. That's what I eat for breakfast right now. Smash that like button. I'll talk to you guys soon.